Junior year was also the year I took weightlifting. In four years of high school, I always took team sports, where you could shoot basketball after walking the track. It was odd, for someone who was bullied and someone who aspired to be a professional wrestler, I should have taken weightlifting every semester. Maybe it was just the first time that I discovered it? We would walk the track, then come down to lift in the weight room. It was also the building that housed the wrestling room and health class, which I took as a sophomore. In fact, for a project in that health class, I made up a song about designer drugs that got a standing ovation after I completed the last verse. I'm not going to say that the weightlifting coach was totally uninterested, but he just let us go to it, as if we knew what we were doing. So, I remember going to the machine and hooking up the small handle to the cable. I now know you're supposed to stand in front of the machine with that handle and pull it down to your thighs, back up and repeat. But not knowing, I sat down and started to pull the small bar down toward my chin so that I could finally do those pull-ups that cost me the presidential fitness test all those years ago. You're supposed to do that exercise with the long bar hooked up to the cable, but again I didn't know. So I sat pulling that small bar down, in front of my chin, back up, behind my head, back up, in front of my chin, back up, pull down. Snap. I went to pull the bar down and the cable broke and I inadvertently hit myself on top of the head with bar. The coach came over and I remember that I apologized for breaking his machine. Maybe I had a concussion? There was this black kid who was posturing like he was going to take a swing at me. I told him, I'm gonna let you slide. Skip a beat and he says, You don't have a choice. That broke the tension, because I can still laugh when someone thinks quick and clever. I remembered that story when I wrote the lyrics to Letting You Slide. So let you slide. I started to become stronger over the semester. At first I couldn't do presses. But I felt pride as over time I could. Squat down to the bar, lift to my thighs, lift to my chest, gorilla press over my head, then back down. I could knock out repetitions on dips. Then finally, I made my way to the pull-up bar. By the time that semester was over, I could consistently do six at a time. The requirement for the presidential fitness test, here's too late. I should have stuck with it, taking advantage of all the equipment in that weight room, but I only took one semester of weightlifting. In truth, for the professional wrestling career path I wanted to put myself on after high school, I should have taken weightlifting and drama every semester, but I only found out about them too late. Instead I took auto mechanics. 